Hello, my name is Shai Ling. I am a PhD student at the University of Science and Technology of China. And my topic is Towards Faster Large Scale Graph Analysis by Two Dimensional Balanced Partitioning. Um, graph widely exists in many applications in our daily life, such as social networks, web page links, and the recommendation systems. And according to Katner's uh, uh, submit in 2021, graph analytics is one of the top 10 data and analytics technology threats. However, with the development of internet, graph size continues to grow. Many graphs can be very large. For example, the CrowdWeb dataset contains 3.5 billion vertices and 128 billion edges. The initial text size is 2.6 TB. Even with the CSR format, it needs 540 GB to store the whole graph. This is hard to fit in a single machine's memory. So it is very efficient to analyze big graph in a single machine. To deal with this, Distributed graph system based on a cluster of machines are developed to handle large graphs. For distributed graph, they first need to partition the big graph into several small subgraphs um, according to the scale of the cluster. For example, if we have four machines in the cluster, uh, we need to partition this big graph into four subgraphs. We next show some commonly used graph partition algorithms in distributed graph systems. The first one is chunk based uh, uh, algorithm. The sequentially add uh, adjacent vertex IDs and their corresponding edges to the same subgraph until it reaches the balanced indicator. Uh, for chunk E, the balanced indicator is to keep uh, each sub subgraph containing the same number of edges. So we first add vertex 0 and vertex 1 to subgraph 0. After that, we find that subgraph 0 already contains the average number of edges. So we start to add vertex 2 to subgraph 1. The above process shows that the sum of out, uh, out edges of vertices in each subgraph is equal, but the number of vertices in each subgraph may be imbalanced. Mm, for example, here subgraph 1 ha has 5 vertices, um, but subgraph 0 and 2 have only 2 vertices. Similarly, if we keep the number of vertices in each subgraph equal, we can get chunk V. Uh, for chunk V, the number of edges in each subgraph may be imbalanced. Another two widely used algorith algorithms are Fennel and Harsh. They all sequence Sequential add the uh, take the vertex from vertex ID and the computer score for each subgraph. For Fennel, the score SVGI equals equals to this. Uh, it uh, contains two terms. The first term denotes the common neighbor between vertex V and the subgraph I. If this number is large, the ending uh, vertex V to the subgraph I could minimize the number of edge cards. Uh, the second term is a penalty factor to achieve the, ba the vertex balanced partition. Mm, Final add ver uh, each vertex to the subgraph with highest score. For harsh, it just randomly choose a subgraph, then add this vertex to that subgraph. Because of the randomness, the subgraph locality is very bad, so it causes high edge cards. After graph, graph partition, distri distributed graph system usually adopts the BSP model uh, for computation. Uh, firstly, uh, th these partition subgraphs are stored in different machines. Uh, then the computation is executed in several iterations. In each iteration, uh, each machine first finish its local processing, local subgraph uh, processing, then synchronize with other machines. After all the machine fi machines finish the uh, uh, computation and the communication, then they can go to the next iteration. 
It is clear that imbalanced computing loads can greatly influence the performance of distributed graph systems. This is because some machines may need to wait for receiving data from other slow machines, uh, which are still doing computation. Next, we will show uh, the limitation of existing graph partition algorithms and their influence on graph processing systems. The first limitation is the imbalanced graph partition and the imbalanced computing nodes. We first conduct experiments to show the imbalanced graph partition. Uh, we partition Twitter graph into four subgraphs by using chunk E and Fenlo. The y axis um, denotes uh, the ratio of the number of vertices or the number of edges. Uh, we can say that chunk E. Uh, we, we can see that for chunk E, the number of vertices is very imbalanced. Uh, subgraph 3 contains uh, 13 times more vertices than subgraph 0. And for final, the number of edges, edges is very imbalanced. Uh, subgraph 0 contains uh, 21 times more edges than uh, subgraph 1. We observe the same thread on chunk V. You can see our paper for detail. Due to the imbalance of the number of vertices or the number of edges, it is inevitably lead to an imbalanced computing nodes between, between machines. We also conduct an experiment to show this. The right two figures are the result of running uh, random walks. The y-axis is a total uh, walking step. It present the number of computing tasks. We can conclude that the computing nodes are very imbalanced for both Chang Yi and Fenlo. In conclusion, for existing widely used graph partition algorithms, they, they can only achieve one dimensional partition and uh, another dimension can be very imbalanced. Due to the highly imbalanced of another dimension, the computing nodes are highly imbalanced. The second limitation is the high edge cuts. Here we mainly focus on harsh algorithm as it can achieve a balanced partition in both vertices and edges. Uh, we do experiment to show the edge cut. Mm. The left figure shows the ratio of edge cards of different partition algorithms when partitioned into eight subgraphs. We can see that harsh always contains the highest ratio of edges, edge cards, edge cards. And uh, as a result, the right figure shows the total communication message works. We can see that harsh, harsh also contains the highest number of message works. This means harsh needs more time zone communication. To meet with the high performance of graph processing system, um, we need to carefully design the graph partition algorithms. Our goal for graph partition are, firstly, we need to achieve, achieve balanced partition in both the number of vertices and uh, the number of edges. Then we need to try to minimize the number of edge cuts. But by uh, balancing the major in one dimension often result in a highly imbalanced distribution in other dimensions. Um, we also conduct experiments to show, th show that. Uh, this time we partition Twitter graph into uh, 64 small subgraphs and show the ratio of the of the vertices and the edges. Uh, we can see that for chunk V, the edge dimension is highly imbalanced and the distribution of the number of edges is also like a parallel distribution. And for chunk E, the vertex dimension is highly imbalanced too. Um, the highly imbalanced partition in another dimension gave us give us trouble in achieving uh, two-dimensional two balance partition. So we should uh, reduce the uh, imbalance as much as possible. To achieve balanced partition in both the dimensions, we design uh, two fluffs uh, partitions. The first fluff is partition fluffs, 
in these graphs, uh, we are targeting reducing the scaliness uh, in both dimensions. The rationale is that by generating subgraph without an extremely large uh, number of vertices or a large number of edges, it is possible to combine those subgraphs to re realize balanced in two dimensions for the final outputs. Uh, in the combining graphs, we can selectively combine two subgraphs into a larger ones according to the distribution of the number of vertices and the edges, thus making the newly combined subgraphs have more balanced distribution in both dimensions. In detail, for partitioning graphs, we follow the idea of final, and uh, it can achieve uh, as it can achieve uh, fewer edge cuts. The difference is we need to design a weighted balance indicator for uh, for reducing the scaliness of partitioning subgraphs. The weighted balance indicator um, WI contains both the number of vertices and the number of edges. Here, the parameter C is a weighting factor to control the weights. Co to con control the weights of uh, uh, VI and uh, EI, uh, we set C equal to 0 0.5 by default, and so uh, we believe we believe that the number of vertices and uh, uh, the number of edges are equally important for graph partitions. Uh, by using the weighted balance indicator, we can greatly reduce the scaliness of the subgraph. Uh, as shown in this figure, we also partition Twitter graph into 64 small subgraphs by using the weighted indicator. We can see that the scaliness in both dimensions is highly reduced. Mm, also, we found that the number of vertices is inversely proportional to the number of edges. Uh, this, this implies that we could realize the desired balanced, pa balanced partition uh, through appropriate, appropriate uh, compilation of these subgraphs. So in the combining graphs, uh, we need to sec sequentially combine the pieces with uh, most number of vertices with uh, uh, pieces with the least uh, number of uh, vertices. For example, if we partition the graph into n subgraph, we first need to partition the graph into two uh, times n uh, subgraphs, and uh, then uh, and then we sort the, these pieces by the number of vertices. After that, at each time, we can combine the pieces with the uh, least number of uh, vertices and the pieces with the uh, most number of uh, vertices into a subgraph. For example, we combine, um, we combine pieces 0 uh, with pieces 2, mi 2 times n minus 1 and uh, keep doing this combination for the remaining pieces. And uh, finally, we can get n subgraphs, and uh, these combined n subgraphs have uh, more balanced uh, vertices and uh, edges. Uh, we noticed that only uh, only one shot of combination is usually, usually not enough to achieve a good balance as desired. So we design a multi-layer combination. The idea is that uh, after each round of combination, as introduced above, we check the balanced degree of vertices and edges for each combined subgraph. Is if the sub uh, subgraph reaches the uh, balanced thresholds, um, we take it as a final partitioned subgraph. Otherwise, we repartition the remaining subgraph and go to the next layer to do another round of combination. Uh, for example, in the first layer, we partition into uh, two times n pieces and uh, then combine once to get n subgraph. Then we check this n subgraph if they are balanced in both vertices and edges. Um, in this case, only one subgraph satisfies the balanced condition. 
So the vertices of the remaining n minus one subgraphs go to the next layer. Uh, in the second layer, we first partition into four times n minus one pieces and combine twice to get n minus one n minus one subgraphs. Uh, we then check if this uh, subgraph satisfies the balanced thresholds for both vertices and edges. Uh, and uh, we continue this process until every partition the subgraph are balanced. Mm, to our study, two to three layers of combination are enough to get uh, the desired balanced partition. Mm, our, our algorithm is called B part, and uh, uh, next we will do experiments experiments to show the high efficiency of our algorithm. We first show the uh, experiment setting. We use a cluster of eight machines, which are equipped with uh, 56 Gbps internets. internet. Each machine is equipped with 224 uh, core CPUs and uh, 64 GB DRAMs. Uh, we use three real-world datasets, LiveJournal, Twitter, and Friendster. Uh, we use Netkin and Gemini as the code base, and replacing the partition module, module with different graph partition algorithms, such as Chang-V, Chang-E, Fennel, Harsh, and uh, Bipart. We use two, metri me two metrics of a balanced degree, uh, the bias and the fairness. We first show the balanced degree of the uh, partition mm, and uh, using bias as the balanced matrix. The smaller bias result the better uh, balanced partition. Uh, we partition three data set into four, uh, into four, eight, sixteen subgraphs separately and uh, calculate the bias of the uh, vertices and the uh, edges. For each setting, the x-axis uh, means the uh, bias of vertices, and the y-axis means the uh, bias of edges. We can say that chunk E can realize a balanced uh, edge partition, um, but the bias of the number of vertices can reach up to uh, 9.06. And uh, as for uh, for final. Mm. As for Fennel, uh, it can realize a balanced uh, vertex partition, but uh, this biased, uh, uh, but the bias of the number of edges can reach up to uh, nine nine point one uh, five. However, the bias of B part in both vertices and uh, edges can be very small. Uh, for example, they are all smaller than 0 0.1, which means that B part can achieve balanced partition in both dimensions. We then show the fairness of the uh, different partition algorithms. Uh, for for fairness, the higher the value means more balanced. Uh, more balance. When it reach, reaches to one, means perfect uh, balance. Uh, uh, this imply uh, this time this time we partition the graph into more subgraphs. For example, up to one hundred and twenty twenty eight subgraphs, but only on Twitter dataset. We can conclude that uh, uh, for B part, the fa fairness in both vertices and edges are equal to one. Uh, which means B part can achieve balanced partition in both dimensions. But for other three partition algorithms, um, there are always uh, one dimension that is less, less than one, uh, which means that which means that, that uh, dimension is quite uh, imbalanced. Uh, we uh, we now eva evaluate the balanced degree of the computing nodes among the cluster of machine. Mm, as mm, so as so as to uh, a way way to this is to uh, demonstrate the impact of balanced graph partition on the p 
performance of distributed the graph systems. We use Nightkin as the code base and show the resulting of running Randbox applications. We start VWOX and each VWOX run four steps. Uh, the results are shown in these figures. Uh, the y-axis denotes the computing time of each machine. Mm, from the result, we can observe a highly imbalanced result for the computed computation time among uh, different machines in, in, in almost all the, uh, iteration uh, for final chunk V and uh, chunk E, which means they need a lot of waiting time so as to de so so it is degrade the uh, graph processing system, but uh, the Running time of B part is uh, in each iteration is very balanced. Uh, we then evalu evaluate the total running time of various graph applications. Mm, we use different graph partition uh, schemes. Uh, then we uh, in the experiment we run five random walk algorithms and of uh, two iteration-based algorithms. For random walk algorithms, we use the Nightkin as code base, and uh, we start uh, VWORKS, and uh, each uh, work, each work 10 steps. For iteration algorithms, we use Gemini as code base, and uh, we run PageRank for 10 iterations, and uh, connected component until con convergency. The results are shown in the figure. The x-axis represent different graph, uh, graph applications, and the y-axis represent the uh, normalized computation time. We normalize the time when using chunk V and so on. Uh, the result show that BPAD always outperform other partition algorithms um, in all situations and uh, can reduce 5% to uh, seventy percent of total running time. Finally, uh, we compare with Hush, and Hush can achieve balanced partition in both dimensions. Uh, we mainly uh, show the result of edge cuts and the running time of graph applications. Uh, the left above, uh, the left table, uh, shows the result of edge cuts. Uh, we can see that the B part always contains fewer H cards compared with hash algorithms. So it has less communication cost. As a result, the figure on the right um, shows a, a normalized compu computation time when considered hash as one. The graph application setting is the same as experiment three. Um, we can see that BBAT always outperforms hash in all cases and can reduce 5% uh, to 35% uh, of total running time compared with hash. Uh, in conclusion, BBAT can achieve balanced partition in both, uh, both the number of vertices and, and the number of edges, and at the same time reduce the edge cuts uh, between subgraphs. And when running graph applications, BPAD can reduce up to 70% uh, of total running time uh, comparing with other uh, graph partition algorithms. Uh, this is the uh, end of my, uh, my, my, my presentation. Thank you.